This is the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm John Irwin. Our topic today is molecular docking. This work comes to you from the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. The molecular docking is a big topic, and so we're going to have to do several videos. So this is the first one. Uh, this is our schematic for molecular docking. Let's go through it briefly, shall we? We need a target, and we need a database. And then the docking program takes small molecules and tries to fit them into the binding site of the target. And it, rank, and it creates lots and lots of poses and scores them all and ranks them from best to worst. And ideally then, you'll have the opportunity to buy some of those compounds and test them yourself in the lab. So, let's get straight to it, shall we? Our interface to molecular docking is called Dock Blaster, and you can find it on the web at uh, blaster.docking.org. And so here's the home page here. And I'm currently using version 1.6. Um, so, uh, there's a lot to be said here, uh, and the, there's a paper papers you can read, but uh, really there's three different ways to get started. You can start with a PDB structure, structure of the receptor. You can start with simply a PDB code and hope that our program will uh, be able to figure it out. And then the third way of starting is to simply say, ah, just show me something, and we'll just pick a molecule at random out of the PDB and dock to it for you. So you don't even need to think of one. But today I'm going to start with the, the structure uh, with a PDB code because that is um, perhaps one of the more common uses, and it's uh, one of the ones that we've worked on quite a lot. So um, the of particular interest are these structures from the Structural Genomics Project, and so we've highlighted them here below because these represent, these are structures of, the, each of these PDB codes is a structure of a protein uh, which has been solved and deposited in the database, and yet somehow no one knows what it does or at least they don't really know. So but um, so here we are at the PDB code, and so you can simply enter a code. I'm going to type in 1N46. Uh, this is an um, example I often use. It's a thyroid, beta thyroid receptor beta, if you can see it listed up here. Okay, But there are many, many other ones you can pick from. In fact, there's a, a list of 1,712 right here. Uh, that we recommend that you use each of these ones. We've, we've looked at it and we think it works pretty well. Okay, so when you're ready to go, you click on the, on the, on the, on the button dock, and then what you'll see is uh, we'll do some preliminary parsing. So there's two things to look at. First of all, looks okay. So it's, it's basically the, the program has managed to find a ligand, and so it says, aha, I know where the binding site is based on the ligand, and so I'm going to let you dock. And so you can, if you click on this button, you'll start a docking job. Second option is, and I'm going to open this in a separate tab, is that we have uh, a pocket picker. This is the program uh, Clippers. Um, and uh, again, you, we, we have the link on our website. You can read more about it. But it's picked six different binding sites on this protein and then illustrated them in, a, uh, in an image here. And sometimes it was kind of hard to figure out how to draw this in an automated fashion. But in each case, you can view the binding site in Chimera and decide whether you want to dock to that binding site. So we recommend clicking on Chimera to view the, the binding site in detail. And then if you like it, you can click on this button here. Okay, so if you click on that button, then it says, oh, we were asked to launch a job, binding site 2.0, 1N46 and confirm, and now it's going to start the job. So we've got a job numbered 57152, which is now running on the picked pocket, the 2.0 picked pocket. That we can return here and say, ah, in fact, we're gonna, we'd also like to dock to where the ligand was bound in the crystal structure. And if you want to do that, you click on dock here. Wait a couple of seconds. Okay, and so now we've got a new number, 57151. So 57152 is the picked pocket, and 57151 is the uh, crystallographic ligand uh, pocket. And so in each case, you, there's a link here to the job watcher, and you can go there, and of course it's repeating all this information because you can still dock to it, and, but the, the status here at the bottom is 
target preparation in, in progress. So you need to wait about half an hour for this to finish. Okay, so that's the end of how to start a docking job. Um, why don't I just give you one more thing, which is that if we were to start with uh, a structure, you'd go here and you'd have to pick your, your structure from the disk. And then you'd have, you could pick a ligand and you could indicate the binding site, either a docked ligand or binding site residues. Or you could decide not to indicate the ligand, in which case the uh, system would pick pockets for you. So if you don't tell us where the binding site is, we'll pick pockets for you. All right. So uh, in a future version, we will go through uh, how to uh, interpret the results. But for today, I'm just going to tell you that this has been an introduction to using molecular docking on our website. This is a chemistry for biology presentation. You can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Twitter or you can like us on Facebook. This work was supported by the National Institutes of Health. See you next time.